and things that you want to, to be aware of while doing a push-up. And when you're aware of all these different things, you're going to get more out of your push-up as well. There's lots of different push-up variations you can do, and with the basic skill set, you can apply that, these techniques to, to all your push-up variations, or most of them anyways. So let's start with the setup. You want to make sure, we're just doing a basic push-up, so your hands are going to be directly under your shoulders. For some people, turning them in a little bit is helpful, but that kind of depends on the mobility of their elbow as well. So in general, we're going to make sure that we have the elbows at 45 degrees. So some of you might need to turn your hands in, but some of you might be okay just having your hands straight across, so it's a bit of a personal preference. Then for when you're loading your hands, you want to load the heel of your hands. Don't put a lot of pressure on the inner side. This is something that a lot of people do who tend to have weak wrists, and you'll, you'll feel wrist pain if you load the inner part of your hand. So weight should be primarily in the heel of your hand. Hands are directly under your shoulders. So we're gonna see my good plank position. As you go into your push-up, you wanna be creating tension in your shoulders. And to do that, think about spreading the floor apart. So what I often will tell people is that you've got two giant pieces of paper towel that you're trying to evenly rip as you go into your push-up. Next up, so you're going to go into your push-up, you're going to have a neutral spine throughout. So you should be carrying a plank position all the way up and all the way down. And by that I mean you shouldn't have any change of position. Your head should remain in neutral position, your lower back as well as your upper back. So you're going to spread the floor to come down and then to come back up, you're going to do a little bit of a corkscrew action. So you're kind of corkscrewing the floor that way. So spreading it on the way down, corkscrewing on the way up. This is going to help you engage more stabilization, or more muscle stabilization through your shoulders as well as they'll give you something to fixate on. The other thing that you want to make sure you're doing is leg straight, butt tight, inhale as you go down, and you come up, exhale, and your goal is to push yourself as far away from the floor as possible. You don't necessarily want to round your back in the process, but you want to come to full extension and then some. This is going to help uh, engage some of the muscles that further stabilize your shoulder and you'll have increased activity from these muscles as you go through your push-up, which is important. And sometimes this also will serve as a bit of a reset of spinal position for those of you that might tend to lose it. I like people to do push-ups a little bit slower and more controlled. You're going to increase the time under tension that your muscles are loaded. You'll get a little more benefit. And I find when people do push-ups in general, when they do them slower in general rather, that the, the form is kept. And again, you'll just get a lot more out of the exercise. So just to quickly recap, neutral head, a lot of people will look down at their, at their feet. So your gaze should be just in front of your fingertips. 